There's a lot of camaraderie because the whole thing's a, a giant clockwork mechanism. It's really difficult to describe it. It has its own pulse. It has its own uh, heartbeat. It is definitely, I don't know if smorgasbord's right, <laughs> a melting pot of different personalities. Like, you never know who's going to walk in here. Like um, well, I ended up here uh, completely by chance. And I was assigned here uh, as part of my assistantship. And when I first came in, I was very nervous. And we, we did a, a uh, walkthrough of the NTC. Then, you know, and there was a show the next day, and I actually, I sat out in the front room for like 45 minutes trying to psych myself up because I am absolutely terrible at talking to people. I, ho I hate new situations, but I kept walking outside like, no, nah, I should go home. And I'm like, no, this is what I want to do. This, this is it, Kyle. You either go in or you go in. Those are, there are no other options. All right, here we go. You ready? And I'm hitting record. And hit. All right, I'm hitting record. And bars and tones for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> I just <laughs> Googled it one day. I was like, OK, I need to change. I hate PR. <laughs> I have to do something. I just did my second PR internship and I was like, I can't, I'm not cut out for this. I need to do something more creative. I need to be a part of something that's fun. And that's what this is for me. And so I was like, all right, well, let me, I heard about this place existing. So I was like, well, let me see what it actually is. Ready to be in full sound. Again, all community and college, uh, university campuses. I've learned how to all film. Right. I've learned how to cut. I've learned how to be creative with what I do. I've learned how to anchor. I've learned everything that you can possibly need to know to go into broadcast news. I learned in this one building, and it's just an amazing asset to have here, and I, I love it. Well, on a typical newscast day, uh, it starts out pretty hectically. Uh, Mr. May uh, calls me into his office right away and uh, asks me, you know, what's the news of the day, and we go over that. I get here and wait for scripts. Uh, just kind of sit there poking at the producers, being like, so I can't do anything until you're done. Producers come in at 9.30 um, and we have a morning meeting and we talk about what we want to put into the show. Producing is basically everything that happens in the background of putting the show together. What the uh, anchors say, when they say it, um, when sports goes up, when weather goes up, and how the show just basically weaves together. And. Um, Eventually they print me off most of a script uh, and I have to sit down and go through the videos, make sure everything's on the right channel, mark it up so that we're going from the right camera to the right camera. It, it all builds on itself, so you get the people that, you know, putting together packages or writing up scripts or the producers, and it, it all has to flow together. So you get a lot of people that really understand the other parts of the procedure because they, they might have to help out with that or they might have to do this. So you get a lot of just like, oh, I need help? Okay, sure. We have loud people, quiet people, um, just everything that you can possibly think of funny people people who just like are more introverted it's like everyone here needs to work together and in that you all become so much closer people are almost too happy and kind here um it's one of the things that was a little off-putting actually the first time i came was everybody was just like oh hey you want to help out that's great and i kept waiting for the other shoe to drop and like all of a sudden the door closes we hit record and everybody just explodes or something like that you're watching NTC News, DeKalb County's only television news source on the campus of Northern Illinois University 
And from the Northern Television Center, this is NTC News Tonight. So the election, the election night coverage, uh, we had to get the newscast done and we had to get the, the feed out. And um, we were all constantly working. It was super hectic. We were trying to keep all the numbers up to date. Uh, it was going to be a live broadcast too, which isn't normal for us, so it was especially crazy. And everybody pulled together and worked together. And when we got on the air, we had all up to the second uh, voting stats and everything. And it was just really, really, it was a great night to be here because everybody worked so hard and worked together. And people who didn't have to be here were here and they stayed till 11, 12 o'clock. And you could just see people's dedication. It was, it was a really nice experience. I was really tired though. I don't know, I think when we did uh, the interview with the, the uh, visually disabled guy from the, uh, the Boston Marathon bombings, I don't know, it was the, f like, the f we did one interview and I'd never really done it before so I was kind of figuring it out and I just really kind of got in the zone and I felt really good about like when I was going from one camera to the next and you could just I don't know, I mean, it wasn't positive because of what happened, but like everybody kind of un understood instinctively what we were doing had a certain level of importance. And that was, I don't know, I felt it. And that felt really good to understand that I'm working with people that know, what the, know the impact of what they're doing. And that was really positive for me. I mean, after being here for so long, I'm graduating in two weeks, and to have Mr. May tell me that that was the most creative show that I just produced of the entire semester and I worked so hard for it and I feel like it was all worth it. Like I've really, really learned something here. I don't know, like from the moment I walked in, I this is what I wanted to do. Um, this was exactly it. I'm just really sad to leave, but um, definitely today, definitely producing this last, my final show, which is an awesome, awesome experience.